Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar, and today my friends, it's time to get your very own Vaska Kvator, Vampire Kitty. And for that, I'm gonna take you step by step through everything that you need to know. Now of course, you can buy a kit with plaid from the market, but we're not gonna do it that way, are we? We're just gonna farm it. So first things first, what do you need? You're gonna need a Kavat which still has two available imprints to make from it. From the genetic tools, you can check it out, for example, mine still has three out of three, which is fantastic. Now... Theoretically, you could have two Kavats with one left and just get one imprint from one and one from the other. And don't worry, you're gonna understand exactly what I mean just a tad later. But there are a lot of bugs currently being reported because, again, the content is fairly new. So I would recommend you have a Kavat with free available just to make sure you're not gonna run into any issues. Now, after you get your Kavat, which is ready to be bitten by the mean old bad Kavat, we're gonna go down to Sita's during the nighttime. Okay, and as it happens, because I totally didn't plan this, it's about to get to nighttime. So let's hop on in. Riven Dark is gonna join us because he managed to get his vampire kitty. Dude, how long did it take you to get the vampire kitty? Uh, about five minutes. About five minutes. So you see, the whole process isn't really all that lengthy, and from my point of view, you shouldn't really have to spend plat to get your vampire kitty. And don't worry. Your normal kitty is gonna be fine, so if you're gonna be using your Smita for this, or your Adrza, it's gonna be fine. It doesn't transform like I thought initially. So that's um, five minutes with Rush. Five minutes with Rush. Now, when you're down on Sita's, what you... Oh, I don't think it's night yet, Riven. Hold on, let's check. Is it night time yet? Night in 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Now, what you wanna do is head on over to the plains behind the big old lake right in front of us. Now, Riven Dark will show us exactly just a couple of spawn locations. Now, you can run around after them. There's one additional way with a lure, but from what I observed from some players, if you use... The, to get the vampire kavats with the lord they might bug out so i would recommend you look for them in the wild like we're about to do in about three seconds all right let's have a look now normally they spawn right over here let's see do we get any vampire kitty let's try not to spook them that's not the objective here as you can see i'm using inaro so i make sure one that my kitty doesn't die just use the link mods link health link armor and you're gonna be just fine. I got no vampire kitty. You got vampire kitty? I am looking. No spawn. Confirm no spawn. Found him. Roger that. Alright, we got the vampire kitty. So we're just gonna stay off. Riven Dark is gonna stay in the air. Now, we're gonna have to get our little kitty bitten. Where is she? Bite me. Where are you? Well, here are the Vasca Kavats, as you can see, in the wild. We're not gonna attack them. Make sure you don't have anything to damage them. We just need our cat. I, I don't see my cat. You see my cat, dude? Yeah, oh, here yeah, she yeah. is. Okay. Now we're gonna wait for the big old bad Vasca to bite our pretty little cat which just stays there. That's how you know it's bitten. It's red. It's got this bleeding effect. We are done, son. We're getting the hell out of here. Out of Cetus. Really quickly, my friends. Let's go, Riven. Let's get out of here. Now what we gotta do is get out of Cetus. I don't know if this works if you abort or not. I have no bloody clue. But right now, my kitty is infected by the mean old Vaska Kavat. Now, there's two things that you can do right now. If you just want to remove the infection, because you don't want a Vaska Kavat right now, what you got to do is head on over to Cetus to Master Tessonai. Tessonai, Tess I have no clue. This guy. Now, this guy. You head on over to this guy. You browse wares, and you will see right here for a measly 500 standing, you can get the Vaska Curative. And that's how you can remove the plague from your Kavat, which you don't want to use to get a Vasca Kavat. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. She just glows red from what I can tell. Also, this is the Vasca Kavat Echo Lord. I have tried to bring it with the Echo Lord, but normally they kind of bug and they don't want to bite my kitty for some reason. So there you go. It's better to find them in the wild. Now, what we're going to be doing is leaving Cetus over to our orbiter. Now we need to make an imprint so we get that infected portion. That's what we're interested in when making the vampire Kavat. I know, the process, the process honestly, it's, it's not that complicated. She doesn't seem... Does she still glow red? Yeah, she still grows a little bit red. So we're going to go to genetic tools and we're going to create an imprint. Creating an imprint will consume a blank imprint and cure your Kavat of the Vasca virus. Continue. Yes, yes. And of course, this will uh, last for an hour and a half, but we will rush it for your pleasure. There we go. Done. We got an imprint. Now, of course, you can check browse genetic imprints. 
And you will see I have one, two, three Vasca Kavats imprints because I repeated this process several times. So what we gotta do right now is basically the exact same thing. We're gonna head on over to Cetus once again. Well, Cetus, yeah, the Plains of Eidolon. And get bitten one more time because you will need a total of two of these. If you go with just one, you got a 50% chance of it being a Vasca Kavat and a 50% chance of it being something else. So there you go. Just to make sure, get two imprints. And as you can see, the process is extremely straightforward and simple. Let's see if I can find them again. I think they were here somewhere. Here, kitty kitty. Nice kitty get in the exact same place as before and here's the level 14 Vasca Kavat. Now we gotta wait for my cat to appear from whatever it may be and again make sure you don't damage it down it's only a level 14 just go by going free roam so if you sneeze too hard it will die so bear that one in mind. Where's my stinking cat? Hey Riven uh oh my cat is unequipped. It's because Crap. you made the imprint it's unequipped. Okay, I'll just cut this part out. <laughs> just realized. <laughs> now, it is very important to know that these Vasca Kavat kind of run around in a pack, believe it or not, but they stray in different directions. So, roughly, this is the spawning point, my friends, okay? Right after Gara Tof Lake, right here, this region is where you look for your vampire kitty. Now, where'd she go? Hey, get the biting. Get the biting. Come on, you know her. You bit her before. She's nice and tasty. Wait, is my cat a him or a her? I don't remember. Come on, bite it. Bite it. B bite it, not me. No, I'm good. You can't... There we go. There we got it. Actually, this would be a good opportunity to test if aborting the mission... So see if you actually need to go through Cetus and all whatnot. Oh, that's a no loading screen. Okay, is it still bitten? Where's my cat? It's not bitten anymore. It's not red no more. Okay, bite it again, bite it again, bite it again, do it again, do it again, come on, you can do it, not me, not me, her, her, bite her, her, no, no, there we go, now it's red again, and if I abort mission, I want to see if this actually works or not, if I abort direct to, directly to orbiter, do I still get it infected or not, alright, let's check it out, yeah, she's glowing red. Okay, so you don't need to go through Cetus if you're in a bit of a rush and all whatnot. We go back to genetic tools. We make another imprint. This will consume the Vasca virus. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're gonna rush this one. Rush the imprint. All right, now we got the imprints, right? If we browse genetic imprints, you're gonna see I made another one. Now, from this point onwards, it should be pretty obvious what you need to do. But in case you don't, let's go to Kavat breeding. And to breed a brand new Kavat, you're gonna need 10 Kavat genetic codes. You can buy them with plat or you can farm them. You're gonna have to scan a whole bunch of Kavats. Heliocore also comes is quite useful. I can do a separate guide on that one. You're gonna have to get an incubator power core. Again, you can craft it. It takes about eight hours to craft. And you're gonna have to make sure you have one open stasis slot. Now the stasis slots are 10 bucks a piece. Uh, 10 plat a piece. Nah, of course not 10 bucks. Anyway, and no active pets. So the first thing, I gotta put bite me into stasis. So, interact with Byte, consign, rename. How do I put you into damn stasis? From here? Hey, there we go. From, from here. Done. Now she's in stasis and I'm going to be able to breed another companion. Either a Kubro or a Kavat. We're going to breed a Kavat. We're going to begin incubation. And now we're going to be able to select our imprints. This is how you can make something specific in case you didn't know in Warframe. And I'm going to select a Vasca. Now I can select something else or leave it alone or even begin a random incubation. If you go like this, once again, you got a 50% chance of it being a Vasca and a 50% chance of it being something else. So basically a 25% of it being a, uh, what's it called? An Adursa and a 25% chance of it being a Smita. But of course, we're going to go to Vascas, select imprint and begin a combined incubation. Not a random one, a combined one. Now, normally this takes a little while, I think about a day or eight hours, let's see. Okay, so 24 hours, but you can rush it for 15 plat, which we're going to do right now. And now you'll have your very own baby vampire kitty. And unfortunately, my friends, we are not allowed... Well, you can keep them small and puffy and cute like this, but they're not going to be useful to you in combat. They can't fight with you. You need... To raise them up and you can do that very quickly if you so desire again you can keep them as pets like this 
if you want to. You get to name her. Let's name her uh, Slave Friend 2.0. This one is actually useful. The old Slave Friend, which I jettisoned, wasn't useful at all. So there you go. Slave Friend 2.0. I know it's a her, but it's fine. Trust me. So if you have the upgraded segment in the incubator, what you can do is mature your cat or Kubro or whatever instantaneously. I'm not going to do that. Okay, this will not take any time at all. You just mature it and then you're ready to go throw her into combat and mod her out and upgrade her and form her and so on and so forth. But considering this is my second one, I'm just going to keep it as a puffy baby. And well, my friends, I do believe that's pretty much it for this guide on how to get your very own uh, Vaska Kavat. When it comes to usefulness of this, because I'm guessing some of you guys are wondering, is this the new meta? I still hate that word meta. I think it's a bit of a dirty word, but no, the Vaska Kavat isn't, let's say, quote-unquote meta. The Smita is simply because it has the charm buff, and that's pretty much it. Now, this one, what it can do, and it's special, it can raise its owner instantaneously. Now that is huge. So you know like for example with your sentinels you gotta wait for sacrifice to do this cast and which time the sentinel can die and so on and so forth. Now the Vasca does it absolutely instantaneously. The problem with the Vasca is the fact that it does have a lengthy cooldown on the res. From what I know and from what I read in the patch notes is about 90 seconds. That's a minute and a half. That's a kind of a long time. And the problem is that right now in the new patch, we get no timer anywhere outlining exactly how much left on that goddamn cooldown. You know, when you're playing the Dijin and you have the cooldown on your buff bar, not in the case of the Vasca Kavat. But I'm guessing this will get ironed out and this will be a fully matured and decked out vampire kitty. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you got any sorts of feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. Oh, also in the comment section down below if you guys want to suggest a particular piece of content. Now, in all honesty, I can't exactly promise you that it will be done by next time or even within a week because these things can take a little time to make, but I can promise you that I will be reading through each and every comment. You can also find me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, and if you love the content, consider supporting us via Patreon. Now, until next time, my friends, bye-bye.